Hmm. Yeah. Well, what else was popular 20 years ago that I should watch now? Oh, uh, Wire. 20 years ago? Buffy um, the Vampire Slayer? The Wire. Requiem for a Dream. I, I I couldn't stay into The Wire. That second season took me out of it so much. I haven't gone back. Mm, uh, fair. It, it is not the best season. I did not season. give a fuck about that dude and his doc. I didn't either. I do not care about that Eastern European fuck and his doc problems. I don't care. You can skip season two and be pretty well in the know. Just roll right into season three. Like you could watch that like previously on the wire and like you're, mm-hmm. you're pretty much good if you don't care about the if you want to skip it. You could probably read a Wikipedia like what happens in every episode. Yeah. Take you 90 seconds and you're ready. Yeah, yeah, I should. I should get back and watch. It's great. How many seasons um, of the wire are there like six? fewer i think five. might only five. be five yeah i think it's five yeah like, like like it wraps up really nicely in the end too i've heard that's a really good series i think i might uh check it out pretty it's, soon uh, it's great I, do the in, sopranos verse okay yeah i need to i i, I about- oh oh so i was just gonna say i, I have this thing where uh once i start something i will finish it but it's the act of starting it so i need to just right. start fucking sopranos and the wire because they're classics and i should watch them Thing about the wire is the first season's the best one, mm-hmm. and that's. Uh, and it's, I hate it when that happens, right? You like to see it, like, oh, dude, it's, it'll hook you in two episodes, and I was gonna say two tops it and tops it. I, I think it's spoiled. really good, but I don't think it's the best. I got spoiled from okay. Breaking Bad, where each season kind of got yeah, better, and uh, good... Better Call Saul is the same way. It's like each one gets fucking better and better. There so. was there was the, there was one season where um, Omar was kind of the a bigger part of the show. When he was like going around getting revenge, mm-hmm. I think I like that season a lot. Um, I like I d- that girl who kills people with a nail gun. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't think of her name right now, but it's like Snoop. Yeah. Well, she doesn't kill him with a nail gun, but you know she seals up bodies with him. I love that whole conversation he has with the with the nail gun sa- salesman. And he's like, he's like, what you really want is uh, is this one here, not that pneumatic stuff. Where you get you want this one? It uses it uses twenty five caliber blanks. And <laughs> just going through the whole thing, and she just pays him cash. He's just like, <laughs> he's a Home Depot employee, so she gives him like five hundred in the hallway and walks out the door. And he's like, "What the fuck? This is way too much." He's like, "Oh, you earned that tip like a motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> well, Kyle, you got to check out the Squid Game. I think you'd like it. I need to watch I it. So, I, yeah. I would suggest it after this trip. Maybe. Yeah, probably. I, I it, it, it sounds time. like uh, I, I think a lot of these guys have watched it, and I kind of want to watch it by myself. So I, mm-hmm. I'll check it out when I get back home. Um, we've been watching a lot of garbage. We watched um, a good bit of Troll Two. <laughs> it's awful. Um, it's uh, wait, is that the one with Jennifer Aniston? No, that's Leprechaun. That's Leprechaun. Lep- yeah. Lep- troll Two is fucking really bad. Like, really bad. There's no trolls in it for one. And <laughs> no, no, no trolls. And, and, and it's trolls. literally it's That's literally fantastic. not even a sequel to Troll 1. Like like they made Troll. Yeah. It did okay. And then they made they had this movie and they were and it was like looking d- terrible and they were like let's just call it Troll 2 and then we'll it <laughs> and maybe we'll make a little money just because Capitalize people capitalize on our bamboozled. small success. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the movie's about goblins, not trolls. And yeah. um it, so do you know the oh my god meme? Uh, what is it? it? Oh it, my god! It's just this kid going. They're gonna, they ate him, and now they're gonna eat me. Oh my god! And that's yeah, how he delivers the line. That. Yeah, that's from that movie. A lot uh, of the lines are delivered just like that. Just like mm-hmm. I don't know why you would think that, Jenny. Is it meant to be tongue in cheek? No, no. It's like uh, funny, it's not right? intention. It's not self aware at all. It, it's. And, and the whole premise, as far as I could tell, was these <laughs> goblins were trying to trick these people into eating this green goo that turns them into like half plant, half people hybrids, because that's their favorite food. It's it's a vegetarian knock, basically. A horrible food. Yeah. And yeah. and the and the, the town is called Nilbog. Nilbog, which Trigal is goblin. Nil. It's called Nilbog and it's it's goblin backwards. Hmm. Okay, it's, I it's, like that. That's it's funny. so fucking shitty. There's what a scene. Is that? Like, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, there's a scene where, uh, what is it? Uh, th- th- there's like corn on the cob, 
Oh yeah, between the two like lovers. <laughs> yeah, the guy and the girl like making out, and so she takes like a whole ear of corn and puts it between their mouths, and like I guess it's so, it, it's so hot what they're doing, the corn <laughs> starts popping, and, and but there's no way to make that a visual effect. Do so they just throw popcorn at them? <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. And they end up in a room full of popcorn. Yeah, from that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they were because they were fucking so hot. Yeah, and they yeah, only had the one ridiculous. ear of corn, so it made yeah. no sense. So. It, like I know you're a huge horror movie guy. What are your go tos? Because I'm always looking for maybe a little more obscure go tos. Because I'm always looking for mm. campy bad horror. I love it. It is my you, you favorite want, genre of movie. You want campy bad horror? Campy uh, bad horror. You need to watch. Everyone needs to watch right now. It's my favorite campy bad horror movie. Sleepaway Camp. Oh, seen it. Yeah, I, seen I, it. I, okay. Camp um, is great. What's another good one here? Um, off the top of my head, it's been a while since I watched. We've been watching the Freddies, and those are Freddies are good. Easy. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. Ma- Maniac is. Good. I haven't seen Maniac. I'll check. Watch that the out. old one. Um. The New York Ripper is good. New York Ripper. New York Ripper. Maniac. Um. What's another one here? Uh. Those are. Those are actually pretty good though. I wouldn't call them like bad, but they're. But I, I'm down to regular good horror. Too. Okay, I just, yeah, there's something endearing to me about campy bad horror films that I really yeah. enjoy watching. The '80s has a fucking shit ton. Um, what are some other ones? Off Wait, sleep sleepaway camp. That's not the one where uh, that's with the dick, right? The, the chick has a dick at the end, right? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I have a light switch in my room, and it's her with the knife and the light switch is her penis. <laughs> so you can, you, you flip it on and off and yeah. Yeah. That was um, some college student. They paid to wear a mask. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, he got really, really drunk before he did it. They said, yep. Why would you get drunk before? Cause he was embarrassed. Cause he was about to be in like a, a feature film, a feature naked. film with his dick out. Yeah. He's got a mask on. Yeah. yeah. But, but still, still. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. You know, you want to, you want to look your best. So you want to get bloated and drunk? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's got uh, that. Yeah, maniac. I wouldn't uh, volunteer for that spot. My big fat fucking belly hanging out—that'd be so embarrassing. I don't know what they pay him. Probably fucking nothing. It was an '80s horror movie. Case of beer. Yeah. A case yeah, of beer. Yeah, and give him a uh, case of natty and a honey bun. Yeah, <laughs> and a honey bun. Not much to it. I uh, can't well, think of anything out. else. Is um, Maniac from 2012? It's a recent movie. T- the 2012 one is. Uh, the Elijah Wood remake. It's not bad, but watch the old one. Watch I love I love Elijah Wood, so I might watch. I, it. I know we've talked watch about it before, both. but but I would recommend The Void. Um, the Void's good. The Void yeah. is like this Lovecraftian horror thing with um, uh, real special like practical effects instead of CGI for the most part. The and, Void's uh, very good. Yeah, a little bit of body horror mixed oh. in with the Lovecraftian stuff. It's cool. House yeah. of the De- House of the Devil is really cool. Um, <clears throat> It's a newer horror movie. It's like 2009, I think it was made, but it was made to be and look like it was made in the 80s. Uh, Ty West, I think, made it. That's a good one. Uh, oh, we watched that shit on Netflix. What is it? The um, there's there's like a three part movie series that's horror, where it's like different time periods. Oh, uh, that's that new thing. Um, I know what you're talking about. I, I watched it too. It was good. The, the first episode is like oh. in like 1994 or something. So we watched that one. Um, I haven't followed up, but it was okay. It was very gory. Yeah, it, it's very good. Yeah, it, it was actually a good one. It was almost like Stranger Things. Uh, yeah, Hackle, Hackle Lantern is one. If you want can't be bad, good Hackle. 80s horror, Hackle Lantern. That is that is a really fucking good one. I'm going to watch that one again, actually. I'll spell it out for you. Hackle Lantern. Hackle Lantern. Hackle that one's a fucking Lantern. great one. I'll check um, all these out. I yeah, this is my favorite genre of movie. Just love it. Yeah, off the top of my head, I, I've watched so many that I don't <laughs> remember <laughs> the names of most of them. The Beyond is good. Just what what do you just you you don't enjoy the campy bad horror at all? Right. It's it's like um, you know, like do I like rap music? Kind of. I, I like the best five percent of the songs and, mm-hmm. and not the others. Um, do I like you know, horror movies? Same thing, you know. Like it, if I throw a dart at a horror movie, I, I probably don't like it, but I like some. Okay. I like. There's a really horrible one called Shrooms. I've seen that. 
I watched that shit the first time I got high off of uh, like weed. <laughs> Bad idea. I was convinced the I heard like a car door slam, like a like I don't know half a mile away, and I was watching it with my my girlfriend at the time and her friend, and I heard that car door slam, and I I just shut off the fucking TV, shut off the lights. I'm like, it's the fucking cops. Get in the <laughs> get in the room and shut the fuck up. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm just I just turn off all the lights in the house. I was convinced. 100% convinced. Um, all because uh, of Shrooms, that horrible shrooms. movie where they're like in the woods yeah. doing drugs and it goes poorly. It's bad. Yeah. It's not very good. Not very good. Not very good. 